What is up everybody? It's Liam here back with my first review. Um, and in this review, I will be evaluating the Nike Zoom X Invincible Run Flying It 2. So the second generation, uh, the Invincible 1s came out about a year ago and the Invincible 2s should be coming out in the United States um, in the next couple weeks. They've already come out in a lot of other countries, but we've yet to see them on the Nike website in the US. So I'll do a quick little review here of the Invincible 2s and you can decide whether or not you want to purchase them as soon as they come out. Now the Invincible 2s are pretty similar to the Invincible 1s. Uh, the back here is a little different. There's more cushion around the heel and the heel clip is supposed to weigh a little bit less. But other than that, there's not too much difference. We currently have about 50 or 60 miles in these. I've been running in them for about a week and a half or so. And um, I really find them to be great shoes for easy runs. They're very soft. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of cushion in the heel here and that extends all the way to the forefoot. And it has a nice rock to them. So it has that Nike Zoom X foam, um, which it says that it has right there on the tongue, as well as on the back here, it says Zoom X. And the Nike Zoom X foam is that super, fo super foam. So in Nike's racing shoes, um, the Nike Alpha Flies and the Nike Vapor Flies, um, they're called super shoes not only because they have a carbon plate, but because they have that Zoom X foam. So the Zoom Invincible here also has that Zoom X foam. That's what makes it super soft and gives you that reaction off the ground. So when you roll off, it's going to be really bouncy um, and that makes it really nice for recovery runs or for easy days, which is what I have been using them for. However, because it has that Zoom X foam, a lot of people like to use it for workouts. Um, obviously, since it's super reactive, it can be good for any type of run. Uh, but what I've found is that it's super soft and super squishy. And while I like that feel on recovery days, uh, it's not my favorite feel for workout days. I'd rather have that firmer foam or that uh, quicker reaction rather than that super soft feel of the uh, Invincibles. So I find them to be uh, the best shoe that I've used for recovery days and for easy runs and I'll continue to use them as so. Uh, Invincibles also have a really nice upper. It's Nike's updated Flyknit. They did the Flyknit with the Zoom Fly Flyknit and uh, a couple shoes about three or four years ago but they redid it and it's not like the current Atom knit of anything like the Alpha Flies um, but it's definitely more breathable than a regular um, out than a regular upper on a shoe and these editions also have some nice insoles so it's the uh, the Boston 75 the blue ribbon sports insole um, and that looks pretty nice as well it's nice and soft but obviously that doesn't matter a lot when uh, you have all the cushioning of the uh, the midsole here of the invincibles the only thing that does concern me with this shoe then is going to be that that outsole on the bottom. Um, it seems to be nice, it's holding traction, anything like that. Um, this one's green and it's got like those bubble things. So it seems to be working well so far, but just because it is so soft it does concern me, especially if you're running on gravel or concrete or even trails constantly. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna hold out. These have about 50 miles in them and they've held up pretty well. Um, not sure how long that's gonna last. There is a little bit of wear already, especially here on the, uh, the arch part of the foot where there's not any of that traction or that outsole. It's really just midsole right there. So I'll be interested to see how they look in about 200 miles. When we get to that 250, 300 mark, see if it's still holding up the same. But um, as of right now, they're holding up great and they feel nice and soft. And that's exactly what I'm looking for on a recovery run. So overall, I give these shoes a great nine out of 10. Um, I think they're excellent recovery shoes. Um, if you wanna use them for workouts, that would not be bad either. It's just a soft feel that I don't personally like. Um, but if you like a soft feel on workouts and that reactive Zoom X foam without a plate, um, then these would be a great shoe. But overall, the Invincible Run 2s have been great, and I will continue to use them on all my easy runs as my easy trainer. I think they look really nice. They look big, but they're super light, um, as most shoes are nowadays. They look big and they're light, but um, I'll continue to use them on my recovery days and make sure to check them out when they come out. So thanks for watching this video, um, and hopefully 
Learned a little bit about the Nike Zoom X Invincible Run Flying It 2s. Um, and I'll have more review videos on different shoes coming out in the future. I'm going to be doing one on the On Cloud Monster, which is up on the top there, um, as well as the Hoka Speed Go, which is on the other side here, and a couple other shoes as well. Those will be my next two, um, and we'll get into my other ones. Uh, so look forward to those. And then I'll also go into my training schedule. This was my first week back with some stronger training, so I'll go into what the next few months hold and uh, how I'm looking to train for a marathon in November. So until then, keep an eye out for those reviews. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.